Welcome makers. Today we're making lays with fresh orchids ordered from Amazon. The most common question I receive on my tutorials are about sourcing tropical flowers. I usually get my flowers from a floral wholesaler, which is usually not open to the public. Because I know that a lot of my subscribers don't have access to a wholesaler, I have done a few grocery store flower tutorials, which I'll link in the description box, and I'm always looking for options I can show you with flowers that are accessible to you. For the last few months, I've been experimenting with ordering fresh orchids from Amazon. In this video, I will share details on my experience ordering with pricing and quality as well as a tutorial on how to make a single and double strand Hawaiian orchid lay. Make sure you are subscribed for more lay tutorials. We will link all of the supplies we used in this video in the description box. I have ordered orchids five times from Amazon. I've ordered from different sellers with similar results. On Amazon, search for fresh, loose orchids. You will usually find orchids available in white, purple, and a variety of dyed colors like blue and pink and yellow. The pricing fluctuates, but at the time of this video, 50 orchids cost about $22 and 100 orchids will be about $40 to $45. You will see two different delivery date options. The first is free delivery and the second option is usually $8.99 delivery. I've always chosen to pay for delivery so that I can make sure I get my flowers on time. In my experience so far, the delivery has been on time and the orchids were sent two day delivery through FedEx or UPS. The different sellers I ordered through shipped from California, New Jersey or Miami. A single orchid lay needs 50 flowers and a double orchid lay needs about 100 flowers. So the price for one single orchid lay will be $22 or $31 depending on if you pay for shipping and a double orchid lay would cost $40 to $50 depending on if you pay for shipping. That pricing is comparable to what you would pay on the mainland if you were purchasing this style from a lay maker or florist in your area. In some states, you can find single orchid lays at Costco during graduation week. I've seen them in previous years for about $15, but it really depends on where you live. I do think that ordering from Amazon is a great option if you want to make them yourself or live in a state that doesn't have the option to order from a local lay maker. They are currently available to order year round. If you are ordering this style from a Hawaiian lei website that ships from Hawaii, it would be cheaper to order from Amazon and make it yourself unless you are ordering this style in bulk. Lastly, these are a great option if you're making Tongan kahoas. The wholesaler that I use doesn't offer loose orchids, so it is cheaper for me to order these ones from Amazon. These orchids are also larger than the orchids that come on the stem that I would be able to purchase from the local wholesaler. I will link our orchid kahoa tutorial in the description box as well. Let's talk about quality. Overall, my experience was great. On one of my orders, I did have mold on about 20 flowers. Mold can happen if there is any moisture and heat during shipment. I contacted the customer service and they refunded me for part of my order. I did not have any issues with the other four orders. For that order, I was making kahoas. The mold was in the center of the flower, so I was able to remove the petals and use the individual petals in my design. On the brochure that comes in the box, it says to treat the orchids like a package of strawberries and discard any that are crushed or bruised. If there are more than a few with damage, then contact the customer service. The orchid should be kept in the fridge. 41 degrees Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature. When you receive the orchids, unbox and inspect them immediately. Today, I am using a 14 inch lay making needle and wax twine that I ordered in a lay making kit from Amazon. You can use a smaller needle if that is what you have. I often use the long doll needles from Hobby Lobby that are about five inches long. You can use any cotton string. I often use a number 10 cotton string or dental floss. I want my lay to be about 40 inches long, so I'm cutting my twine about 100 inches long so that I can double it and also have some extra twine to tie it off at the end.
Here are the orchids I'm using today. I received them seven days ago, dipped them in cold water, and placed them in the produce drawer in my refrigerator, and they still look fresh. Here are the different parts of an orchid flower. The center is called the nose, and this part is the throat, and this petal is called the lip. These two on the right and left are petals, and the rest are called sepals. This top one is the dorsal sepal, and these towards the bottom are lateral sepals. I'm going to remove the stems. For a single lay, pierce from the nose through the throat. Pierce a handful of orchids, and then move them down your string. Continue adding flowers until you have your desired length. For this lay, I'm going to mix in some mini carnations so that I can save a couple orchids and make a matching lay po'o. For a double lay, we're going to pierce through the back and place the flowers in a circular pattern. If you have watched my grocery store lay tutorial, we've used the same method, kui poi poi, with carnations and spray roses. For a 40 inch double lay, you will need 100 to 120 orchids. Here are some of the finished lays made from orchids ordered from Amazon. Thanks for watching.